Hey you guys, what is up? Are you here? And today I'm going to talk about another DBZ theory that I've just been thinking about for a while, been planning out, and so on. Now this involves Dragon Ball GT, which I do believe it's not canon, it's never been part of the story, but I don't have any opinions. I think it's a good series, even though it's not canon. Let's just leave it that. If you do like GT or don't like GT, I don't care. I don't even care at all if anyone what G, if GT is canon or not. It could be canon, it could not be, I don't care. Anyway, now that I got that out of the way, let's begin. So, at the end of GT, and there was a GT movie, which I thought was good, based and the ending and the movie were kind of related. Goku Jr., Vegeta Jr., which are 100 years later, after Goku and Vegeta died, after everyone's dead, and just pans left. They kind of are what the Earth has to offer as Super Saiyans. And you know, they're, they're like the great, 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 great grandchildren or whatever of Goku and Vegeta. You guys didn't know that. Which my uh, OC on role, in role plays is there, is just like them. They're the, he, my OC is the descendant of Vegeta because I think Vegeta is really cool. He's strong, he just has a weak move. That's his flaw. Anyway, let's get to the theory. So, and so basically, Goku and Vegeta are the last Super Saiyans ever. Now let's think of it this way. So a hundred years have passed. Those two were the only full Saiyans everyone went half a quarter. I don't know. It went, this went down scale. Now my question is: Is everyone on Earth, basic or almost everyone, a Saiyan now? Is the Saiyan race being reborn? My question. My now what makes me think of that? Hundred years have passed. Now there's like a bone. No, there's like the Goku and Vegeta. They're turning super. Saiyan. It's like the Saiyans becoming a race again. Are they being coming out from extinction? Are they bring coming back as a warrior tribe? But is it like because now what when I think of this, I think of uh, that one Saiyan from the Universal Tournament. Um, for guy's name, Vegeta Tama the Super Saiyan. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, comment below. But what makes like I think of him when I think of this question because he's a good guy. He's a saint, which saints were supposed to be bad in Goku's universe, Vegeta's universe. In his universe, it's a hundred years. They say like over time, over the years, they became good. And then I think I think of this, I think of Goku and Vegeta. I think of Goku Junior and Vegeta Junior. Like what if like what if the their what if uh, his universe is a hundred years. After this, like, what if, like, that's a possibility? These two could be in that universe, Goku and Vegeta Jr. I mean, let's think about it. Let's please just give this thought. Don't cringe or anything. Just, like, think about it. Just give it a little thought. It's like, okay, he says, Kaba, that's his name, it's Kaba. He says that, um, um, that in his universe, everyone's good. All the Saiyans are good. They fight for evil. Goku and Vegeta, and everyone else fights for evil. Well, Vegeta is neutral, but like he still fights evil. Let's think about that. Cobb and only Saiyans are evil, and they're bad guys. Well, they, I, I call them like pirates. So yeah, they're pretty much bad guys. But now they're good thanks to Goku. Now Vegeta is a good guy because of Goku. And well, I guess you count her as a good guy. Well, yeah, she is good actually. But I'm just asking, like, thinking this, and I'm just like thinking of that one universe because like. It's it's a possibility that um the his Kaba's universe is a hundred year is the universe that's a hundred years ahead of Goku and Vegeta's themselves. So his plant but the thing is what catches me off guard is they live on plant salad. Now what I believe is that plant salad was still destroyed. Well we can't really see anything because we've never seen Kaba's plant. So there's absolutely no proof that my theory is real. So this might be outdated by the time you're watching this. Maybe if there's an episode where they go over there. But I'm just saying, like, now I'm not saying they live on Earth. I'm just saying, like, that's a possibility since we've never seen Kaba's planet. Now what I think is, since we've never seen Kaba's planet, I have the right to say a what if. What if planet Sal Earth was na renamed Planet Salad? Or Planet Vegeta? I don't know. Something like that. Unless like the some unless Earthlings or what I call the the current Saiyan race goes to plant create finds another planet and takes that over doesn't take it over but shares it or something 
Now, like I said, this is just a what if theory. I most of my theories are what ifs. They're never like complete theories with thoughts. But um, just like I think about this, and it could be a possibility. I just give it a lot of thought, and it's like this is my results, my thinking. It's possible, possible that Kabu's universe is a hundred years or longer or shorter. Don't know. After Goku and Vegeta, the original Goku and Vegeta, not G Junior. Or maybe it's after Goku and Vegeta Jr. After uh, everything went, after you know, that's just what I think personally as a uh, Dragon Ball fan myself. Like I know my Dragon Ball theories are mostly like far fetched or like what the heck is he really fan? Like I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball. Like I love the story, I love everything, but this is just what I I like to make these videos for fun, not for like intelligence or anything. But if you guys can think about, if you guys do think about, it, it's a possibility. It could be a possibility. Just give it like a little time to think about it. It might be what what my what I'm saying could be a possibility. We never know. We might never know really what happens. Like like the possibility that we never know. What, okay, that's Goku. Sorry, I'm just picking pictures, but pictures of um stuff. I'm trying to like get like okay, there we go. We are ourselves okay. Sorry, if it, like I just pick, I just click random picture. That's really all I'm doing. Kind of like give this a better. I'm trying out new stuff. That's it. Anyway, guys, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. If you guys want more, let me know in the comments below. Um, I will be doing some Dragon Ball stuff often, as often as I can. Anyway, this is just like a. Remember, keep in mind my theories are what ifs. They're never like theory theories like a. Uh, Geek them, which I am a big fan of. I find this stuff very loving and great. Like I said, these are all thoughts. These are not really, um, these are all what if thoughts and everything else. They're never precisely theory, if that makes any sense. But I call them theories because it theories are possibilities, and that's how I look at them. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go now. I gotta get ready for my next video. Also, I have family coming over before. And I'm hoping to see my sister today, which is not right, my most likely won't happen. Anyway, my next theory will be based off Goku at the end of GT. Now, I know you some people don't, a lot of people don't like GT, but I like it personally, and I always want to talk about the end of Dragon Ball GT. Now, I'm gonna, I have a lot to say about that, so stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in the next Dragon Ball Z theory.